All right, so welcome back again to Pinoy Screencast. I'm Arnavino and I am back. This time we're going to unbox a Cherry mobile product and ito yung bago nilang device which is a very powerful device and a very affordable price. So meet the Flare X and you can see it's a really nice looking green uh, in, actually it's the internal box and there's you know, a sleeve the box but here let's take a look at the specs okay so quick rundown on the specs it's an android 4.4 kitkat with 1.7 gigahertz octa core processor and it's 64 bit with a 5.5 inch ips full hd with gorilla glass 3 and i think this is ogs and it comes with an lte FDD, LTE, B1, B3, and B5 bands, NFC, a Wi-Fi and Bluetooth, 3 gigs of RAM, with 16 gigabytes of ROM, with 30 megapixel rear camera using the Sony IMX214 with autofocus, and a 5 megapixel front camera with dual micro SIM and some features there. All right, so without further ado, let's go check out what's inside. So this is the look and the logo, and here is the smartphone. So actually, the look of the Flare X is very similar with the Adverse uh, player series na ni-release ng Cherry Mobile and also there's a specification in front that I mentioned a while ago so I'll be putting the details in the description box of this video where you can check out the full specs and pricing of this device and here is the back so let's first remove the plastic let's take a look at the other stuffs inside so the user manual the earphone with talk and mic button the travel charger with a 1000 milliamp Charlie mobile battery with 3000 milliamp and the micro USB to USB cable. Okay, so looking at the build and design, you can see it's very similar again with the Flare series or the other Flare series that they released in Charlie Mobile. So here is the closer look of the Flare X and in front we have the 5 megapixel front camera, the earpiece and then the proximity sensor. And this is the 5.5 inch IPS display which is full HD. At the bottom we have the menu, home and back button. Right underneath is the micro USB port and the noise cancellation or microphone. So while looking at the top is a 3.5 millimeter jack or port and then the noise cancellation hole here or the pinhole mic again. And at the back we have the 30 megapixel rear camera with the dual LED flash. But on the right side is the power button and the volume rocker. While in the center is the player logo and the Cherry Mobile logo and the speaker grill at the bottom. Now looking inside is the micro SD slot and the two SIM card slot which is both micro SIM and this is a dual LTE. So since the player X has the NFC capability, at the back we have the sensor for the NFC. So your Flare X is at the back is a glittery type matte finish so it's not slippery and not finger smudge prone. Actually the camera is not protruding also which is really nice so you can put it in a flat surface and it will not wobble. Now let's put this up and let's see the interface. So since this is still running on Android KitKat, you will still experience the stack vanilla Android here on the MediaTek interface but then uh, there is an upcoming OTA update with this device so it's compatible with the Lollipop version. So let's take a look at the settings. So just to confirm the kernel version is 3.10.48 plus so it means it's compatible with Android Lollipop out of the box. So just to confirm there is a 4G signal so it means it's 4G LTE capable. In terms of sensors there is accelerometer, light, orientation, proximity, gyroscope, sound, and magnetic sensor. So a quick look at the camera output. And for the front camera, so in terms of the camera, it features the meron siya. So meron siyang anti-shake, voice capture, face detection, gesture shot, smile shot, auto scene detection, self timer, continuous. The feature size is meron 13 megapixel with 4x3 and 16x9. And the ISO is up to 1600. And for the video, meron siyang noise reduction, EIS, and the microphone, audio, time lapse, video quality, and here meron siyang icon ng slow motion, which is for the features of the video. And so top is meron mga different features, meron din siyang PIP. So this one, I can drag it anywhere. And then meron siyang mga different scenes for the sepia. Aqua, mono, whiteboard, blackboard, negative, and other stuff there. Also, there are themes that you can check. So, if you're interested with the different built-in themes, there are. As you can see, there's a LED notification, which is really nice. Although, yung kanya capacitive buttons is walang backlit. And here's a quick look of the toggle navigation. 
to make you customize your kanyang toggle navigation. And here, on the more, you can configure it and you can set which of the uh, features of the quick navigation ang gusto nyong ilagay doon sa kanyang main toggle. So here is the settings, meron siyang quick and general. So for the quick, meron siyang Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, NFC, drop settings. So when I turn this on, meron siyang parang mala iPhone na buttons. Then you can check your video, music, desktop, and inbox. So there, you can automatically jump to the settings and to the drop zone. So on display, as you can see, meron siyang how to call task manager. So merong double press home or long press home. So when I press double press on the home, you will see na meron siyang task manager. And the great thing about the task manager is you can see kung how much RAM ang kanyang ginagamit. So right now, meron pa akong 1.18 gigabyte available with the 3 gigabytes na capacity niya. You will also see yung mga apps kung ilan yung kanilang nagagamit na RAM. So the Play Store, meron siyang 65.20, the themes, the camera, meron 79.94. And you can close this by dragging up or sliding up or clicking yung kanyang brush. Also in the settings is meron gesture sensing so it can learn the actions. So by swiping your hand and also you can turn this on yung mga features na gusto nyo. And also may siyang smart wake. So you can double tap the screen to wake up the uh, screen of the phone. So double tap. So it will wake up the phone and other stuff inside here. And for the storage, may siyang remaining the 12 gig for the space since yung other part of storage is for the system. And so far, this is the look of the settings. And when you press the menu, may siyang mga Settings for the wallpaper, scroll effect, default screen, or you can add a widget. Now, in terms of the typing, actually, ang gamit niya is the touch pal na keyboard. So, actually, very responsive naman yung keyboard niya. And right now, wala pa naman na encounter ng mga dead spot so far with this keyboard. But in terms of touch pal, I really don't like this keyboard. So, I'll switch to the typical Android stock keyboard. In terms of build, here's the look comparing to the Alcatel One Touch Flash Plus. And in terms of the weight, actually, medyo mas mabigat yung Flare X comparing to the Flash Plus. But comparing to the Zenfone 2, mas mabigat ang Zenfone 2 comparing to the Flare X. Alright, so moving on to the gaming part, we are going to test out the Grand Theft Auto. And you will see the display is on the max settings. And let's check if it will have a very smooth gameplay. Okay, so far it's playable, although I have just encountered some few minor skipping frames there, but still on full max settings, it's very playable. So great thing for the uh, Player X. Now, I will not close this and I'll just switch to another game. So the next game we are checking out is the Nova 3. And you notice na yung Grand Theft Auto is just in the background and I haven't closed it yet. So let's check this if it will still play smoothly. And also the great thing about this device is this one is running in the SD card. So out of the box is you can save your files or OBB files for apps and games on your SD card. So it will not have any problem. So far it's playing well, the Nova 3. And I still haven't had huge drop of frames so far in this game. And now I'll again switch to the uh, Grand Theft, which is by double tapping the home. I, I switch it to the double tap feature para garden ng task managing and just resume as you can see so far multitasking is great with this device so there you go that is the initial impression and initial review of the their x so this is the newest device of cherry mobile that they have launched today and you will see so far it's doing great in terms of multitasking and the camera is really nice in a good lighting environment but of course i will be testing out in the next upcoming days and if you have comments feedbacks or suggestions feel free to put it in the comment section down below and if you want to interact with me guys feel free to post in the tips.pinoyscreencast.net so i'll be posting all the details in the community so you can go interact with me in real time so i'll be posting it also in real time if you 
will notice the tip that my screencast that that is a community site where you can interact with different users that you can change your profiles and other stuff there so once again i'm arnold video from screencast.net so if you haven't subscribed to my channel feel free to subscribe just hit the like share and subscribe button there at the bottom of this video and once again i'm arnold video from screencast.net and see you on my next video